Hey guys, I got a, an email from Apple. It could be a few more weeks of this, so hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, but welcome to Minute Ministry, and today we're going to talk about happiness. Got a minute? Music. So, that being said, happiness, a lot of times we determine what is good by if it makes us happy. And a lot of times, I even think Christians believe that God wants to make us happy. And although I don't think he's against the idea of happiness, I don't think that it's all that important. I think happiness is more inconsequential. It's not something that, you know, it's like, oh, well, if it happens, that's great. If not, it's great because God's not, it's not a high priority for him. See, we look at the life of Paul, and whenever Jesus was, or, uh, you know, God was talking to Anais about Paul, um, whenever Jesus, or, whenever Paul was going to be prayed for, and uh, the scales removed from his eyes, it actually mentions that I am going to show him how much he must suffer for my name. And so, going into this, God knew that Paul was going to suffer, and in that suffering, you know, like was going to bring so much good. And um, that just like the, you look at the life of Paul and you start to say, hmm, interesting. That doesn't sound like it would make me happy. You know, like being beaten, being stoned, being, you know, like thrown in jail, um, having all of these afflictions and being shipwrecked. And he still says that in Romans, God works out all things for the good of those who love him. And Paul would tell you that he loved God. And so, therefore, these things are being worked out for the good of Paul. And so there must be something bigger and deeper than happiness that God is at work in. And it's going to be, in many cases, joy. If you look at the letters, Paul doesn't sound like a defeated man. Paul doesn't sound like a man that you know, hates, you know, the, the idea of, you know, like why I have to go through all this suffering and all this stuff. He doesn't sound like Job, you know, like, and Job did, didn't sound bad too much until, you know, like kind of a little bit ways in. He doesn't sound that way because he has the joy of the Lord inside of him. And God is more worried about your joy. He's more worried about the fruit that's in you. And he wants to, you know, move you into a place of fulfillment. And whenever you're fulfilled, then, you know, your purpose is, is being there. Everything, you're going to be able to put up with more things because you are being filled in a way that you never were before. So God wants to fulfill you. God wants you to have joy and have it more abundantly. But I don't think he's all that concerned about your happiness. And I'm sorry to say that. So, that being said, I'll see you all next week. And I'm hopefully, hoping that we can do something special on Tuesday for the 100th video. And so I'm really excited about that. But 100 of these Minute Ministry videos, um, tune in. I'll try to do something special. I haven't even, I'll think of it this weekend. Have a good one, guys. Have a great weekend.